Surah 21. al anbiya Context. Period of Revelation. Both the subject matter and the style of the surah indicate that it was sent down in the third stage of the life of the Prophet at Mecca. See Introduction to Surah 6, Al-Anam. The subject and topics of this surah. This surah discusses the conflict between the Prophet and the chiefs of Mecca, which was rampant at the time of its revelation. It answers those objections and doubts, which were being put forward concerning his prophethood, the doctrines of monotheism, Tawheed, and the hereafter. In the surah, the chiefs of Mecca have also been rebuked for their machinations against the Prophet, and warned of the evil consequences of their wicked activities. They have been admonished to give up their opposition to the message. At the end of the surah, they have been told that the person whom they considered to be a distress and affliction, had in reality come to them as a blessing. The main themes of this surah. In verses 1 to 47, the following themes have been discussed in particular. Number 1. The objection of the disbelievers, that a human being could not be a messenger, and therefore they could not accept Muhammad as a prophet, has been refuted. Number 2. They have been taken to task, for raising many diverse and contradictory objections against the Prophet and the Quran. Number 3. Their concept of life, has been proved to be false, because it was responsible for their heedless attitude towards the message. They believed that life was merely a sport and pastime, and had no purpose, and there was no accountability, reward, or punishment. Number 4. The main cause of the conflict between the disbelievers and the Prophet, was their insistence on polytheism, shirk, and antagonism to monotheism. So, the doctrine of polytheism has been refuted, and the doctrine of monotheism reinforced, by weighty but brief arguments. Number 5. Arguments and admonitions have been used to remove other false understandings. They presumed that Muhammad was a false prophet and his warnings of a punishment from God were empty threats, because no punishment had seized them despite their persistent rejection of the Prophet. In verses 48-91, instances have been cited from the important events from the lives of the Prophets, to show that all Prophets were normal human beings, except those characteristics exclusive to Prophethood. They had no share in Lordship, and they prayed and worshipped God alone, imploring Him only. Instance 1. All the prophets had to pass through distress and affliction. Their opponents did their utmost to thwart their mission. But the prophets still came out successful by God's will. Instance 2. All the prophets had one way of life, the same as was being presented by the prophet Muhammad. This was the only true way of life, and all other ways were wrong. In verses 92 to 106, it has been declared that only those who follow the right way, will come out successful in the final judgment of God, and those who discard it, shall meet with the worst consequences. In verses 107 to 112, the people have been told that it is a great favor of God, that He has sent His messenger to inform them of the reality of the hereafter, and to reaffirm that God is one. Interestingly, the Prophet is made to declare that he is unaware of the plan of God, and that this knowledge of the future is with God, and he alone will judge the people and decide their fate. Rather, he is simply a vehicle for the message, and his responsibility is to convey that to the people. The Surah then ends with a reminder that God is the most merciful, and that his help is sought against the lies and disbelief of the people. Surah 21 al -Anbiya. In the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful. The time of their account has approached for the people, while they are in heedlessness turning away. No mention, revelation, comes to them anew from their Lord, except that they listen to it while they are at play, with their hearts distracted. And those who do wrong, conceal their private conversation, saying, is this prophet except a human being like you? So would you approach magic while you are aware of it? He the prophet, said, My Lord knows whatever is said throughout the heaven and the earth, and he is the hearing, the knowing. But they say, the revelation is but a mixture of false dreams, 
rather, he has invented it, rather, he is a poet. So let him bring us a sign, just as the previous messengers were sent with miracles. Not a single city which we destroyed believed before them, so will they believe? And we sent not before you O Muhammad, except men to whom we revealed the message. So ask the people of the message, former scriptures, if you do not know. And we did not make them, the prophets, forms not eating food, nor were they immortal on earth. Then we fulfilled for them the promise, and we saved them at whom we willed, and destroyed the transgressors. We have certainly sent down to you a book, the Quran, in which is your mention, then will you not reason? And how many a city which was unjust, have we shattered and produced after it, another people? And when they, its inhabitants, perceived our punishment, at once they fled from it. Some angels said, Do not flee but return to where you were given luxury, and to your home so that you will be questioned. They said, O oh, woe to us! indeed we were wrongdoers. And that their cry did not cease until we made them. As a harvest mowed down, extinguished, and we did not create the heaven and the earth, and that between them in play. Had we intended to take a diversion, we could have taken it from what is with us, if indeed we were to do so. Rather, we hurl the truth upon falsehood, and it destroys it, and thereupon it departs. And for you is destruction from that which you describe, to him belongs whoever is in the heavens and the earth. And those near him, the angels, are not prevented by arrogance from his worship, nor do they tire. They exalt him night and day, and do not slacken. Or have they, men, taken for themselves gods from the earth who resurrect the dead? Had there been within them, the heavens and the earth, gods besides God, they both would have been ruined. So exalted is God, Lord of the throne above what they describe. He is not questioned about what he does, but they will be questioned. Or have they taken gods besides him? Say O Muhammad, produce your proof. This Quran is the message for those with me, and the message of those before me. But most of them do not know the truth, so they are turning away. And we sent not before you any messenger, except that we revealed to him, that there is no deity except me, so worship me. And they say, The Most Merciful has taken a son. Exalted is he. Rather, they are but honored servants. They cannot precede him in word, and they act by his command. He knows what is presently before them, and what will be after them. And they cannot intercede, except on behalf of one whom he approves. And they, from fear of him, are apprehensive. And whoever of them should say, Indeed I am a god besides him, that one, we would recompense with hell. Thus do we recompense the wrongdoers. Have those who disbelieved, not considered that the heavens and the earth, were a joined entity, and we separated them, and made from water every living thing? Then will they not believe? And we placed within the earth firmly set mountains, lest it should shift with them, and we made therein, mountain passes as roads, that they might be guided. And we made the sky a protected ceiling, but they, from its signs, are turning away. And it is he, who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon, all heavenly bodies in an orbit are swimming. And we did not grant to any man before you, eternity on earth, so if you die, would they be eternal? Every soul will taste death. And we test you with evil, and with good as trial, and to us you will be returned. And when those who disbelieve see you O Muhammad, they take you not, except in ridicule, saying, Is this the one who mentions, insults, your gods? And they are at the mention of the most merciful, disbelievers. Humans were created of haste. I will show you my signs, so do not ask me to hasten them. And they say, When is this promise, if you should be truthful? If those who disbelieved, but knew the time when they will not avert the fire from their faces, or from their backs, and they will not be aided, rather, it will come to them unexpectedly, and bewilder them, and they will not be able to repel it, nor will they be reprieved. And already were messengers ridiculed before you, but those who mocked them, were enveloped by what they used to ridicule. Say, 
who can protect you at night, or by day from the most merciful. But they are, from the remembrance of their Lord, turning away. Or do they have gods to defend them, other than us? They are unable even to help themselves, nor can they be protected from us. But on the contrary, we have provided good things for these disbelievers, and their fathers, until life was prolonged for them. Then do they not see that we set upon the land, reducing it from its borders? So it is they who will overcome? Say, I only warn you by revelation. But the deaf do not hear the call when they are warned. And if, as much as a whiff of the punishment of your Lord should touch them, they would surely say, O oh, woe to us, indeed we have been wrongdoers. And we place the scales of justice for the day of resurrection. So no soul will be treated unjustly at all. And if there is even the weight of a mustard seed, we will bring it forth. And sufficient are we as accountant. And we had already given Moses and Aaron, the criterion, and an illumination, and a reminder, for the righteous who fear their Lord unseen, while they are of the hour apprehensive. And this Quran is a blessed message which we have sent down. Then are you with it unacquainted? And we had certainly given Abraham, his sound judgment before. And we were of him well knowing, when he said to his father and his people, What are these statues to which you are devoted? They said, We found our fathers worshippers of them. He said, You were certainly, you and your fathers, in manifest error. They said, Have you come to us with truth? Or are you of those who jest? He said, No, rather, your Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, who originated them, and I, to that, am of those who testify. And I swear by God, I will surely plan against your idols, after you have turned and gone away. So he made them into fragments, except a large one among them, that they might return to it in question. They said, Who has done this to our gods? Indeed he is of the wrongdoers. They said, We heard a young man mention them who is called Abraham. They said, Then bring him before the eyes of the people, that they may testify. They said, Have you done this to our gods O Abraham? He said, Rather, this, the largest of them did it, so ask them if they should, be able to, speak. So they returned to blaming themselves, and said to each other, Indeed you are the wrongdoers. Then they reversed themselves, saying, You have already known that these do not speak. He said, Then do you worship instead of God, that which does not benefit you at all or harm you? Oof to you, and to what you worship, instead of God. Then will you not use reason? They said, Burn him and support your gods, if you are to act. We, God, said, O fire, be coolness and safety upon Abraham. And they intended for him a plan, harm, but we made them the greatest losers. And we delivered him and Lot, to the land which we had blessed for the world's peoples. And we gave him Isaac and Jacob in addition, and all of them we made righteous. And we made them leaders, guiding by our command. And we inspired to them, the doing of good deeds, establishment of prayer, and giving of zakat, and they were worshippers of us. And to Lot, we gave judgment and knowledge, and we saved him from the city that was committing wicked deeds. Indeed they were a people of evil, defiantly disobedient. And we admitted him into our mercy. Indeed he was of the righteous. And mentioned Noah, when he called to God before that time. So we responded to him, and saved him and his family from the great affliction, the flood, and we aided, saved, him from the people who denied our signs. Indeed they were a people of evil, so we drowned them, all together and mentioned David and Solomon, when they judged concerning the field, when the sheep of a people overran it at night, and we were witness to their judgment. So we made Solomon understand it, and to each of them we gave judgment and knowledge. And we subjected, along with David, the mountains glorifying, and also the birds. And we were doing that, and we taught him the manufacture of coats of armor, to protect you in your wars. So will you then be grateful? And to Solomon, we subjected, the wind, blowing forcefully, proceeding by his command toward the land which we had blessed. And we are ever, of all things, knowing. 
and of the devils, jinn, were those who dived for him and did work other than that. And we were of them a guardian. And mentioned Job, when he called to his Lord, Indeed adversity has touched me. And you are the most merciful of the merciful. So we responded to him and removed what afflicted him of adversity. And we gave him back his family, and the like thereof with them, as mercy from us, and a reminder for the worshippers of God. And mention Ishmael, and Idris, and Zulkifl, all were of the patient. And we admitted them into our mercy. Indeed they were of the righteous. And mention the man of the fish, Jonah, when he went off in anger, and thought that we would not decree anything, upon him. And he called out within the darknesses, There is no deity except you, exalted are you. Indeed I have been of the wrongdoers. So we responded to him and saved him from the distress. And thus do we save the believers. And mention Zechariah, when he called to his Lord, My Lord, do not leave me alone with no heir, while you are the best of inheritors. So we responded to him, and we gave to him John, and amended for him his wife. Indeed they used to hasten to good deeds, and supplicate us in hope and fear, and they were to us, humbly submissive. And mention the one who guarded her chastity. Mary, so we blew into her garment through our angel, Gabriel, and we made her and her son, a sign for the worlds. Indeed this, your religion, is one religion, and I am your Lord, so worship me. And yet they divided their affair, that of their religion, among themselves, but all to us will return. So whoever does righteous deeds while he is a believer, no denial will there be for his effort, and indeed we, our angels, of it, are recorders. And there is prohibition upon, the people of, a city which we have destroyed that they will ever return, until, when the dam of Gog and Magog, has been opened, and they from every elevation, descend. And the true promise approached, and then the eyes of those who disbelieved will be staring in horror. While they say, O oh, woe to us! We had been unmindful of this, rather, we were wrongdoers. Indeed you disbelievers, and what you worship other than God, are the firewood of hell. You'll be coming to enter it. Had these false deities been actual gods, they would not have come to it, they will all abide in it forever. For them therein, is heavy sighing, and they therein, will not hear. Indeed those for whom the best reward has proceeded from us, they are from it, far removed. They will not hear its sound, while they are, in that which their souls desire, abiding eternally. They will not be grieved by the greatest terror, and the angels will meet them, saying, This is your day which you have been promised. The day we shall roll up the heaven like the rolling up of the scroll for books. As we began the first creation, we will repeat it. That is a promise binding upon us. Indeed we will do it and we have already written in the book of Psalms, after the previous mention, that the land of paradise, is inherited by my righteous servants. Indeed in this Quran, is a message for a worshipping people. And we have not sent you O Muhammad, except as a mercy to the worlds. Say, it is only revealed to me, that your God is but one God. So will you be Muslims in submission to him? But if they turn away, then say, I have announced to all of you equally, and I do not know, if what you have been promised is near or far. Indeed he knows what is declared of speech, and he knows what you conceal. And I know not, perhaps it is a trial for you, and enjoyment for a time. The prophet has said, My Lord, judge between us in truth. And our Lord is the most merciful, the one whose help is sought against that which you describe.